Welcome back to the Dynasty Mustaches series brought to you by Viper Bites and the Dynasty Vipers. Today, we are going to focus on the quarterback position here with Baltimore Ravens signal caller Tyler Huntley. Yes, the six foot one, 196 pound quarterback out of the University of Utah. But first, let's take a look at what he did as a Ute. Back between the years of 2017 and 2019, 569 completions on 847 attempts, 7,351 passing yards along with 26 touchdowns. But wait, there's more. The Konomi Code quarterback himself, 26 touchdowns in the air. He also added 15 more on the ground on 380 attempts, which added up to 1,131 rushing yards on top of all of that. So here's the deal with Tyler Huntley. Huntley is currently rostered as an exclusive rights free agent an erfa coming into next season efras they are unable to negotiate the terms of their contract and if a team decides to qualify them and extend them they basically have to take the leg league minimum and like it and in other words they are not available to negotiate with other teams that's something to keep in mind here as we kind of go down through this whole process in five games three starts Huntley has thrown for 930 yards, three touchdowns, and one interception with a completion rate percentage right around that 68 mark. He's added 35 rushes for 222 yards and two touchdowns with his legs. Hey, we watched Huntley as he led the Ravens on game-winning drives against the Bears. We watched him as he battled back against the Browns. And you know what? The Ravens, they fell behind 24-3. to He put together four scoring drives there, okay? He got him within two points. In that 31-30 loss to the Packers, Huntley threw two touchdowns and ran for two more. The dude can play in the game. It's just a matter of getting that opportunity to do so. In my opinion, Huntley has outgrown his current backup role. And with more reps, we are seeing just how good Huntley can be. And his ceiling is incredibly high as he possesses that Konomi cheat code that we are all looking for in Dynasty and what the NFL is looking for in quarterbacks moving forward, it seems. Now, heck, even Taysom Hill has QB1 type potential based on this particular skill set. And in my opinion, Huntley is a better passer than what Taysom Hill is. In fact, he's not that far off from where Lamar Jackson is. He's not there. Don't, don't shoot the messenger here. I'm saying, given the opportunity and the time to grow, Huntley could be close to what Lamar Jackson is. Just saying, very key words there. We're talking potential here. Not what he is yet, but the potential to be. So, it looks like Huntley is going to be a Raven for one more season, unless he gets traded. And there are teams that are looking to add a quarterback this offseason. This draft class, I would not be looking into as my future signal caller of my franchise. For me, it's just not there. The value of the quarterback in the 2022 draft, it's not that great. In fact, I would rather have Tyler Huntley on my roster than any of these quarterbacks we're going to talk about in the next few weeks. Now, of course, there's going to be hype around these quarterbacks as we move closer and closer to draft day. Their stock is going to continue to grow, continue to grow, continue to grow. And we're going to start to forget about Tyler Huntley once the Ravens season either ends before they get to the postseason or when Lamar Jackson comes back and leads this team in the postseason. We'll see how that shakes out here right now. But right now, it also looks like the Ravens, their season's pretty much done after week number 18. Now, if I'm the Ravens, I'm maybe listening to offers on Tyler Huntley, seeing if I can get a pretty solid return of investment, but they're not going to feel pressured to go out there and trade him. They have the perfect backup to their franchise quarterback in Lamar Jackson. Everything Huntley does is, I don't want to say a poor man's version of what Lamar Jackson does, but he does very similar things to what Lamar does. Now, moving forward, couple things here. Lamar Jackson, he is set to become a UFA in 2023. You're going to expect the Ravens to extend him probably sooner than later. Probably fairly often, fairly early, sorry, in this whole offseason process for the Ravens. See if they get him signed because his price is only going to go up and up and up. A la Dak Prescott a couple years ago and how the Cowboys had to deal with that whole shenanigans there. Expect the same thing for Lamar Jackson. He's going to get paid, which means Tyler Huntley will become a secondary thought process in the Ravens as far as the uh, management is concerned. But wait, there's more. They have some concerns along that defensive front. We talked about this. What teams can make a move? What teams can make a play for Tyler Huntley that need a quarterback that has some good, young, 
defensive lineman up front. How about the Carolina Panthers and or the Washington football team? Now, I want to focus on the Washington football team here just a little bit because they can definitely use Tyler Huntley. And they definitely have a little bit of a problem on the defensive line between Deron Payne and uh, Jonathan Allen. We've seen how that kind of went on during the season. So maybe there's something there. Maybe not. Who knows? But you know what? Those are two potential suitors that could definitely help a win-win type scenario with the Ravens as far as addressing their quarterback situation and addressing some of the needs of what the Ravens have. Whew, that was close. Um, now, some other teams that are definitely looking at the quarterback position, we've got the Falcons there. they got Matty Ryan. He's still under contract for a little bit longer. You've got Seattle, should uh, Russell Wilson leave. Uh, Denver, they're always looking for a quarterback upgrade. <laughs> Obviously, Teddy Bridgewater, Drew Locke is not the answer there. New Orleans, they could be looking to upgrade on Jameis Winston and Taysom Hill. Detroit, yes, they're paying Jared Goff a lot of money, but there's $5 million in dead cap come 2024. And then you've got Houston, and you've got the Pittsburgh Steelers, which is definitely not going to happen. Let's not kid ourselves here. Whew. And so those are some of the teams I think could make a play for Tyler Huntley moving forward. But you know what? Let's focus on the now. In summary, while Huntley remains a Raven for 2022, for your dynasty management style, it's better to strike early than it is to straight strike too late. Now, at Huntley this offseason, when the smoke starts to settle down, come 2022, you can expect Jackson to miss more time. It's going to happen. And Huntley, again, will be there to take his place and carry the Ravens as far as he can do. And that in itself will get his market trending back upwards and he will gain the confidence and he will hone his abilities a little bit more. He's going to become a better quarterback going forward. So for me right now, Tyler Hunt is definitely a dynasty stash. 2022 outlook, probably with the Baltimore Ravens, but 2023, I think you're going to find yourself a new franchise quarterback in one of these locations that we just discussed. Now we've got plenty more stashes coming up here on the show a little bit later. We've also got the Viper cast every Tuesday, 10 p.m. Eastern. And our primetime previews coming at you. we got two more coming this week with the doubleheader taking place on Saturday between the Denver Broncos, Kansas City Chiefs. We've got the Dallas Cowboys, the Philadelphia Eagles. And, of course, the Sunday night football game of the week. Win and you're in. Lose and you're done. We've got the Las Vegas Raiders hosting the Los Angeles Chargers. Boy, this is an exciting time to be right now. Fantasy football meets the National Football League. Everything comes together. Make sure to tune in for that one. We'll catch you later. Bye.